So before VU, I was actually working in consulting, uh, advising private equity firms on kind of uh, major buyouts and acquisitions, uh, focused on the technology sector. Um, so really working with kind of that later stage of capital deployment, uh, kind of the antithesis of where of VU of what VU represents. What drew me to VU was, you know, I wanted to get exposure to early stage companies and investing in early stage companies and working with founders and innovators who are truly building next generation companies. And the, the VU program uh, really kind of offered a, an easy and more practical way to start to kind of wade into that world. Honestly, I think it's been beating Scott and, and really kind of understanding his vision for, uh, for BU as an accelerator program, but also just kind of learning and picking his brain about his experiences that he's had uh, over the last 15 years. I think uh, it's, it's, again, someone that I would not have met or had exposure to uh, if I had not joined this program. And I think just some of the conversations we've been having, some of the mentorship that he's been able to provide has been really impactful. Um, and I think to expand on that, you know, with him and Andrew uh, in the partner meetings every week, uh, and in the investment committees, it's been really incredible to kind of see how they think about businesses, how they think about business models, um, and it's kind of helped enhance and, and you know, inform my perspective going forward. How immersive it was. You know, when I first had researched BU, I, I thought it would be a little bit more educational and kind of academic. And it wasn't clear to me until I joined that that was really just the first week. This is truly kind of an immersive, practical application learning experience uh, to get into venture capital. And I think there's not, there's very few places where an accelerator program where you can get the experience we have. And I think that's been a truly beneficial impact that I wasn't expecting. Uh, I think for me, it's been kind of one, getting to meet this kind of incredibly diverse and intelligent group people that kind of come from all walks of life. Um, so really the network building has been a true value add for me in this program. Uh, being in the office, both at the beginning of the cohorts and at the end of the cohort has been kind of a great way to keep that network current um, and, and you know just really help provide a social element to, to all the work that we've been doing. So in the near term, I'll be kind of continuing my role within consulting, but working with kind of earlier stage investors. And as the as the consulting model kind of continues to, to change over the future, I think there's going to be a lot of overlap in terms of the work that I do with BU and the work that I do kind of servicing some of these later stage investors. Um, longer term, you know, I want to kind of eventually end up uh, launching my own fund and kind of managing uh, an early stage fund, working with early stage companies. Uh, do it, <laughs> because uh, if you're interested in early stage investing, if you're interested in working at a VC fund or even raising your own fund one day, the, the tools and the skill sets you get here, joining a cohort or even two to three cohorts, is kind of fundamental to all of that. And uh, I think you kind of leave with this, it's almost like a mini business school network um, where you've met a bunch of people who are all incredibly intelligent to kind of go on and do their own things in, in different walks of life. And it, it's a truly valuable thing that I can see kind of leveraging for years to come. Everyone's incredibly intelligent and I think what's been really amazing for me to see is the diversity both in terms of age, tenure, years of experience, but also in terms of backgrounds, right? We have people like myself who come from a more you know, finance consulting background. We have others who are science and research oriented. We have those that are you know, coming out of school. We have career entrepreneurs and founders. And so it's been really cool to kind of see all that perspectives and kind of working together with teams uh, to really kind of drive out something truly really unique. Like I said, long term, eventually I'd like to kind of raise my own fund. Uh, and so this is kind of the first foray of one, understanding the different types of companies that early stage uh, funds invest in, uh, to start to build my network and brand um, as an investor. Um, and uh, so yeah, fix those two.